to another video if you're new here so am i i'm gonna switch it up this week and do some work from home content and just like how i stay productive during the day being a work from home parent i'm also a full-time student and just like how i keep my t's crossed and my eyes dotted just the little things that I do throughout the day that help me stay productive and help me stay on top of everything. Just get back from taking the kids to school and I did pick up a coffee. One of my things in 2024 is like not to sweat the small things. We're hardworking, we're allowed to get a coffee every now and then. I'm so thankful that you're here. If you are new here, I hope you stay tuned and hit subscribe and see what we have in store. If you're interested in seeing kind of what we've been sharing over the past year, check us out on Instagram and TikTok. I'm gonna give you a little bit more of an idea of like who I am, who we are as a family, like the type of content that I share. I cannot wait to see what 2024 brings. Hey guys, it is about two o'clock. I just got home from getting Grayson from school. He does kind of like a little half day. Um, it was a little bit cool for the dress that I had on, so I ended up putting on this sweater over it. I do work a full eight hour day. Grayson only goes to school a little bit over half a day, so we always do quiet time, movie time, TV time. He'll get iPad time some days, um, which is what he's doing right now. I'm so out of breath from being pregnant. I'm so out of breath, I just can't breathe. <laughs> I do try to make it a rule to get through all my calls in the morning before I go get him because he can be quiet, but it's kind of unpredictable. He may like run down the stairs or run into the room or just start yelling. Or of course, if he needs to go potty or he needs something like he's going to be like, mommy, mommy, mommy. So I do try to do my calls before I go get him so that all I have as far as work in the afternoon is just like computer work that I can do even if he's making a little bit of noise in the background. I'm actually still on my lunch break. I'm gonna fold a little bit of laundry that I did this morning and get a little bit more work done. I need to look and see what we have going on for dinner because we're running really, really low on groceries, but we're also going to Tampa this weekend. So I don't really wanna get like a full grocery delivery knowing that we're not gonna be here over the weekend. I would rather just wait until we're back on Sunday night to do grocery delivery. So I'm gonna try to just like plan out the afternoon. I think we're gonna film like a little dinner vlog and post that to TikTok. I feel like if I don't like do just a teensy tiny bit of planning, then we always just end up being like, let's go out to eat or let's like eat ramen, which is totally fine, but. <laughs>
Did you sleep good? Good morning. I just got the kids dropped off at school and I'm in the Starbucks drive through But for anybody concerned about my caffeine intake while I'm pregnant, the coffee that I had this morning was decaf. Um, I have a ton going on today. Work is pretty busy. Brantley has like a AB honor roll thing this afternoon. I also need to run to Publix. I was trying really, really hard not to get groceries because we're going to Tampa this weekend, but we do need a couple things. So I'm gonna run to Publix and get a couple things later. I gotta bring some paperwork up to Grayson's school and check my PO box. I have a couple of brand partnerships to film for today. And on Wednesdays, the girls do gymnastics. So we will be at gymnastics from 5.45 to 7.45, which kind of makes dinner like iffy. I'm gonna try to find something at Publix that's like a quick, easy dinner that I can have ready early. Besides that, I woke up this morning like really nauseous, which is kind of weird just because I haven't had a lot of nausea lately, but it was just one of those feelings like I need to eat. So I'm gonna get a breakfast sandwich um, to have something like a little bit more filling than what I normally have in the morning. We're gonna have a good day. It's gonna be busy, but it's gonna be good. <laughs> Another thing that comes today is my new MacBook, which I'm so excited about. The cost of it almost made me sick, but it was needed. Like I had to get another one, so I got the MacBook Pro M3, and from what I hear, it's gonna blow my socks off, so I'm really excited about that. Um, so I do have to hang out at the house until that gets there. So hopefully that gets there before I have to leave to go get Grayson and go to Brantley's thing. But it's gonna work, it's gonna work out. We're just gonna, we're just gonna say that now, it's gonna work out. All the timings are gonna work and it's gonna be a good day. My new computer just came. It is 12.52. I feel like I've just been like head down in work all morning, which is good because I got so much done. I have like two tasks that will take me a little bit left for this afternoon, but both of them are things that I can do with the kiddos home. Hopefully there's no craziness that comes up with work for the rest of the day. I am super excited to get this bad boy set up. Having the bigger breakfast kind of filled me up, so I don't think I'm gonna eat anything for lunch right this minute, but I am going to run and get Grayson from school here shortly. I'm gonna stop at Publix, get something to make for dinner, a couple things that we just need before we leave for Tampa, um, and I'll probably just pick up something quick and easy for lunch. Honestly, Publix like has the best lunch. This thing is heavy. So pretty. Way too expensive, but so pretty. Our old laptop was actually all set up under Matt's name because I think when we bought it was when he started his master's program years ago. But I'm kind of excited to like set this all up for me and it be my work computer because essentially we literally bought this for content creation. I'm still a student. I still use computers for other things, but it's kind of exciting like setting it up like my work computer. I feel so official. Clearly, I'm not a tech person. Like, I am a creator. I like the creative aspect of content creation. I love connecting with you guys. But, like, the tech side of it is fun because I can be creative with the technology. But, like, I don't know what I'm doing. Clearly, I fried a laptop trying to edit YouTube videos. But I'm learning. I am nothing if not determined. So there is a challenge in the technology and I will learn it. I promise you my editing on my videos will get significantly better than it is right now. Even like looking back at my TikToks from like March when I started, it's so crazy like how big of a change there is in like my editing style, my filming style, just like even like getting comfortable talking on camera. I know that's like a whole different topic, but anyway, I'm gonna get started on setting this up and go do all the things that we talked about and then jump back on to work. I'm not sure if I'll film any more today or if I will see you guys tomorrow, but either way, I will be back. It's always easier for me to get dressed after it warms up a little bit in the day. So this is my little pregnancy ensemble today. 
The dress is a little tight, but that's okay. I've got some shorts under it, and then this is like a little lounge top um, that I tied up. So that's what we're working with today. Did you get a cookie? It's yummy. Have a good day. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Hello again. It is Thursday. I'm about to start work. I just got the kids dropped off at school, and of course, I do have a super busy day ahead. I got really lucky because every now and then, Grayson's school can keep him for the whole day. Next year, he will be in the full day program. But anyway, so I actually get until 3:15 today versus 1:45 like normal. So I have a ton of stuff I need to do during that time. I need to edit this video and get that posted hopefully today. No promises there, but if she believes she could, she believes she could and she did. Is that the saying? She believes she could and she did. I'm off work tomorrow, which means today's probably gonna be busy. I just have to like get everything lined out since I won't be back until Monday. We also need to pack for Tampa. Full disclosure, I get super bad packing anxiety, so you likely won't see a lot of packing videos from me because it's just not my favorite. Um, I'm always like worried that we don't have enough or we're gonna forget something, especially packing for a family of five. Matt is like a saint with packing. He took that over quite a while ago and I just like lay out the things that I wanna bring. If there's anything like in particular that I think we need for the kids, I tell him or I lay that out and then he handles like all the packing. So he will probably get on that tonight, if not tomorrow morning, because we are going to Tampa tomorrow. I need to get a spray tan to go to Tampa. I can't decide if I wanna go get a spray tan or if I wanna do it myself, but in any circumstance, I'm gonna be tan tomorrow. I do have an article paper that I have to write for school. That's my last assignment of the week, so I'm hoping that I can knock out the article paper and then I have one brand deal that I need to film for. So those two things are on my itinerary for my lunch hour. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching if you've watched it all the way through. I did actually briefly start editing this video last night and Best Buy was not lying when they said that the new MacBook M3 completely blows the old processor away. Like holy moly, it's like a whole different it is like a whole new beast and I'm so excited to edit this full video on there. With that being said, I really hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you can see anything coming up. We are gonna be vlogging our trip to Tampa, so that'll be kind of a little bit of a different scene versus just seeing me in my house all day. And I was kind of peeking at the weather and it looks like it might be warm enough for the boat next weekend. So if it is warm enough, we will be taking the kids out on the boat next weekend and that'll be some stuff that we will document and share with you guys as well. But I hope you guys have a great week and a great weekend coming up. And thank you so much for being here. Bye.